Okay, I just wanted to um, make a video, a review. Um, for the last four days, I've had very labored breathing. I have not been able to breathe. I, um, I would, you know, just I would take deep breaths because my breathing was so labored. And I would try and force myself to cough up whatever was in my chest, but nothing would come up because the mucus was so thick. Um, I've been knowing about mulein root. I actually, this is, or mulein leaf, I'm sorry. This is mulein uh, extract. I know it's reversed, but um, I bought this extract maybe three weeks ago, and I would take it here and there, not daily. You're supposed to take it three times a day in a small amount of water so I just have these little plastic shot glasses about this big and I just fill them halfway and you put a full dropper which is approximately 28 drops it tells you on the label how to take it I would put a full dropper in the um, in the little tiny shot glass of water I would actually have to put two droppers because you're supposed to have a full dropper but um, for some reason, when with, I don't know if this dropper is defective, but even when it was full, um, for some reason, it only goes about halfway, you see? So I actually put two of these droppers in the water so that it equals one full uh, dropper. You're supposed to take that three times a day. I was taking that four times a day in addition to drinking... Uh, the Moline Leaf Tea. I ordered this off of Amazon as well. Um, see, this is... It's a very dark color. It tastes like molasses. It's, it doesn't taste that great. It tastes like molasses. But anyway, so... Four days... For the last four days, I could not breathe. I had extreme labor... Extreme... Extremely labored breathing... I didn't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to get tested. I don't want to have a positive COVID-19 result on my um, on my medical file because I don't know if anybody sees what's going on in California. Very scary stuff. Then people got camps and they're taking people and yeah. Anyway look that up i don't want to talk about it in this video look it up i don't want that to happen to me i got three kids that i'm taking care of by myself so um i've been drinking this tea since i got it in the mail i had the extract first i just ordered this last week and i think i got it saturday or sunday or something like that but anyway um my breathing was labored i was having a hard time breathing um I honestly every night felt like I would possibly go to sleep and not wake up. That's just flat out how I felt like I probably wasn't going to gonna wake up in the morning and my kids were probably going to find me in my room dead. But um, anyway, I did not call my doctor um, because I know the power of mulein leaf. You know, I studied herbology. I, I collect herbs. I do a lot of rituals and stuff, so today, I'm breathing fine. I'm good. Moulin leaf. So, um, I just wanted to get that information out there. You don't have to wait until you can't breathe to drink this stuff or take the extract. You actually should be taking it now just to uh, protect your lungs. This stuff works amazing if you go on amazon and read the reviews for this one this one is buddha tea uh mulling leaf there are people on there with chronic bronchitis i i was just recent i was just recently diagnosed with asthma as an adult i'm 35 years old uh because last year i live in houston last year there was a fire a plant fire in deerbrook texas if you can actually google it it's called the deerbrook uh, I think it was called the Deerbrook Plant Fires, and I actually am part of the um, the lawsuit. Um, so I've been having lung issues for the last year. A few months ago, I went to my doctor because 
my lungs were hurting. Like, the shit was hurting. My lungs were hurting, and I was scared I had pneumonia again. I used to weld, and when I was welding, I, tr I, had, I was diagnosed with pneumonia three times in a two-month period, and I had a partially collapsed lung, so um, I've had lung issues in the past. Um, this shit works. The reviews will tell you. There are people ha who are chronic bronchitis sufferers, uh, cr chronic asthmatics, and they swear by this. Like, there, one dude, he said he drinks a cup before he goes to the gym. He, he He's asthmatic. He t drinks a cup before he goes to the gym. And he's good. So, yes, I've been drinking the tea two to three times a day, mostly two times a day. And I've been taking this three to four times a day. But now, yesterday, I only took it twice. And I had one cup of tea. Today, I took it two times. I just put a couple of drops in my tea because I just made myself a cup of tea. I haven't had any tea today. But I just um, made myself a um, cup of tea and I just put a few drops in it. I didn't even put... I put less than half a, um, half a dropper full. So... Yes, look up, research Moulin Leaf, research the benefits, don't just go on my word, look up the reviews on, on both these products, they're on Amazon, I'll link, I'll post a link, this is not an ad, I'm not, <laughs> this is not an ad or anything, this is like, more, most, more so a review and a testimony so that you see that this stuff really works. Mother Earth has so many remedies and so many cures to all these illnesses, especially these man-made illnesses. Like, we're, we have cures at our disposal. We just have to do our research and our due diligence and we can heal ourselves just from the Earth. Um, even, like, if you're getting a cold, I know it's, well, no, flu season's over, I think. But um, cold and flu especially during cold and flu season. I follow Conja Queen. She talks about this all the time. Free medicine. You got a pine tree? Go up to a pine tree, pick some pines, pick pick pines, harvest pines, rinse them and make tea out of them. That is a great immune booster in it and it um it's great to fight the flu and common cold. There are these, uh, there are so many herbs out here that, that actually help. So, um, I just hope this message gets out to the right people who need it. Um, my best friend's mother, she's in her sixties and she has chronic asthma. She's hospitalized all the time because of her asthma. She has chronic asthma and a lot of allergies. So I'm going to buy her some more tea. And um, make sure I bring that to her. You got older people in your life that you're worried about, worried about this whole issue that's going on right now, this pandemic. Get y'all, get, get this stuff. I'm telling you, get it. Get this. Make sure that you are um, consistent because in the like the second or third day, I got a little lazy and I only took this once. And I only drank one cup of tea that night. I couldn't breathe again. So you you got to be consistent and build enough up in your system so that it it um, kills. I'm sorry, my son is. Hey, shh, my son is right here. But um, yes, you have to be consistent. Let it give it give it time to build up in your system. Most teas, well, all teas, any tea that you're trying to actually get some sort of health benefit from, they recommend you drink it at least three times a day. Two times a day is good. You can drink it in the morning and at night. But if you're sick, definitely try and drink it at least three times a day. And definitely get the extract. Because the extract is a boost. Like, I noticed my symptoms alleviating faster with the extract. Um, because I guess it's in so little water that you're getting more benefit. And it's less diluted than having a cup of, you know, a cup of tea. See, I just made this tea. But, um, yes, please do your research and, um, I hope this message reached the right people and I hope y'all benefit from this. Ashe, Ashe.